Mike Perlman here for Techno Buffalo. I'm inside a Ford Focus Electric with Chad Darcy. Chad is the... I'm the Focus Electric Marketing Manager. Tell me about the lithium ion battery. The lithium ion battery is that next generation of battery. And so what it allows us to do is, is it's, it's less weight, right? It takes up less space. Uh, because of that weight, you can kind of shrink the battery a little bit. Um, but one of the big things is, is you can continue to plug it in nightly. And you don't see that range degradation that you would on a on an older style battery. Okay, um, how about uh, kilowatt hours? The battery is 23 kilowatt hours. Okay. For total capacity. And charging time, what is it, three to four hours? Correct. On a level two charging system, like the one we have out there, the Leviton branded one, it's three to four hours. We have a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger that allows us to do that. That's about half the time of our closest competition. Very cool. And then that battery allows this car to go 80, up to 80 miles an hour and uh, a little over 80 miles an hour. It is a little over 80 miles an hour. Okay, and you get 100% torque at zero miles an hour, so you get that instant as as tiger pounce yeah. right out of the stoplight. Correct. One of the things that we really like about this vehicle is the fact that we did build this off the base focus platform. So the driving dynamics of this car are unlike other electric vehicles out there. This is a very highly tuned vehicle. And do you have rege regenerative braking as you do in the C-Max and the heat um, dissipation? Of it, course. Okay. It, we over the years we've been able to refine it to the point that you can capture on the Focus Electric, you can capture up to 95% uh, of that kinetic energy that you would have lost in a non-regenerative braking vehicle. Wow. That is a lot. Yes. That is great. And all that does, it just helps you give more range because that goes back into the battery, as okay. you know. And this car is even greener. It takes it a step further. And we'll talk about the um, the recycled material in the interior. Yes. So there are, there's a lot of recycled material in the interior. Now, this one happens to have leather, but on our cloth seating fabric, that is made of 100% post-industrial and post-consumer content made by a company called Unify, and their brand of fabric is Reprieve. In addition to that fabric, we have, um, on a standard in all Focus and, and Focus Electric, the, the seats are made out of soy uh, cushion foam. Um, we've got recycled denim in there. We noticed when folks were buying electric electrified vehicles that they were going for the high trim series and the higher options. So in the Focus Electric, we came out with one trim level, and we put everything into there we could. In fact, the the only option on this vehicle is leather seating. So it's not just the seats, it's, it's not just the fact that we're an electric vehicle. We've done a lot to make the car green inside and out. In fact, the water bottles that we are using today at this um, press event are actually going to be used for a future Ford Focus electric interior, and that's pretty cool. Tell me about the charging station and the merge with Best Buy on that. We have partnered with Best Buy and their Geek, Geek Squad to uh, help introduce the charging station installation process to the customer. And the reason we wanted to do that is people trust the brand name of Best Buy and Geek Squad. The, the average price for an installation uh, is going to be $14.99 and that's uh, leadership in terms of its, its class of all electric vehicles. $1,499? Uh, yes, yes, okay. $1,499. Ford Focus Electric with the um, eco material interior price after the tax incentive. $32,495. And this vehicle, as I mentioned earlier, it has one trim level and we highly content this vehicle. So it comes with everything from premium Sony audio to the My Ford mobile phone and website application, My Ford Touch, Sync, the activated voice control features. It's got rain sensing wipers. So it's got everything on the vehicle that you could want. Smackdown, Ford Focus Electric <laughs> versus the Nissan Leaf. How do we know that question was coming? One of, one of our big key features right now is the fact that we can charge in half the time. And so you think about what it takes for an average consumer in their daily lifestyle and how much further they can go. That's a very big point. And of course, you know, we think about the pre premium audio that we have in there and the premium electronics that we have. Miles per gallon equivalent versus the LEAF. We are the first five uh, passenger vehicle to achieve 100 or better MPGE and so that's definitely a, a story for Ford Focus Electric as well. You have a solar program where you can have a solar panel installed in your house. So the Sun Power program, which we term Drive Green for Life, is actually an, a vehicle offset. So it'll feed uh, power through solar panels into uh, your input at, at the house, so into the grid that, you, that you're hooked onto. And it's there to provide the offset for what 
what you use in the Ford Focus Electric. Very so cool. So it doesn't directly feed the vehicle, but it offsets that energy that you're using. Okay. And the last thing is you have a an application. Uh, phone application for Android and um, iOS. Yep, and Blackberries. Okay, and Blackberries. And this basically allows you to um, charge remotely. So you can do some of that uh, okay. through the application. Not only that, you can find your vehicle through the application through a GPS uh, tracking. And you can find charging stations. Uh, correct. And you could check all your stats and compare how you're braking. And you have a break. There's a braking score. Yeah. It tells you how well you do with your regenerative braking. Uh, we we want the consumers to feel that they're um, very involved with the vehicle. It ties them in. It makes them feel connected. So, I mean, you you can have your braking scores. You also that shows you how much money you save for gas, how much carbon dioxide emissions you save. You can share all of your results uh, through social media on various places including Twitter and Facebook. Uh, so we, we've put a lot of thought into So you can rub it into your friends' That's faces. Right. That's I right. got better miles per gallon equivalent than <laughs> you. Right. My braking score is better <laughs> than you. Chad, thanks so much. Thank you very much. All right.